हेलो गाइस वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पावर लर्निंग चैनल वी आर हेयर विद द न्यू वीडियो इलेक्ट्रिकल ड्राइंग चैप्टर टू सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल ड्राइंग दिस विल हेल्प इंजीनियर्स टेक्नीशियंस एंड बिगिनर्स टू लर्न अबाउट फ्रेंड्स विच बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रिकल ड्राइंग्स सो दिस वीडियो विल हेल्प यू इन इंटरव्यू ड्यूरिंग द जॉब हंटिंग सो डोंट स्किप एनी पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो लेट्स बिगिन हेयर वी गो सो अवर फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल ड्राइंग इज इलेक्ट्रिकल ब्लॉक डायग्राम and the second type is single line diagram srd or one line diagram and the third type we will, which we will discuss today is schematic diagrams so let us see first about the electrical block diagrams what is it and how we can use it in the industry so let us begin with the block diagram we will go on the next slide so as you will see here block diagrams what is block diagram diagrams of a system in which the principal parts or functions are represented by blocks connected by lines that shows the relation of the block is called block diagram so let's take an example the diagram we have two sources of power As which we are showing in box and here we have power source b and all both these both these power source are connected it's showing with this arrow as you see here these two arrows is showing that these two power sources are connected in power transfer switch okay friends and after the power transfer switch it's having four outputs as you see here these four arrows it is showing the four outputs of the transfer switch so you can name anything for this boxes for example you can put it here emergency db or lobby or you can put here uh, any room name or something okay in the blocks so this kind of drawings you can use it at the beginning at the initial stage of the project or to give or to share your idea with others that we have this plan and we have this block diagram we can work on this plan so at the planning stage or you if you are explaining to someone about the drawings or the project or the system what you are going to design simply you can use block diagrams you can take help with the block diagrams you can draw any blocks and you can write the name of the system and the sources it is not necessary that you will make exact electrical symbols okay so i will let you know the next picture which is block diagram of a ups system it is a ups but as you see here it, it is in the block shape so let let me explain you if you see here if you see here on the right side on the left hand side it's showing single or three phase ac source okay so this single ac source it's coming it's coming from this way if you can see it's coming from this way okay and after that you are showing here one jumper and actually this is not a jumper it's a breaker or a switch but we are talking about block diagram so we make it like this so it is not required that you can have to make exact a uh, symbol of the drawing in the block diagram okay and after that if you will see here all the blocks are mentioning this is static switch and this is the rectifier of the ups system and here they can use even you can use here box you can write battery this drawing they mention the symbol but also you can use as a box here and you can write battery so after that we have one another box which is inverter which is converting dc to ac again okay so the function of ups we will not discussing today our main thing is block diagram example okay so whenever you have any idea or you are discussing or you are explaining to someone so you can easily make block diagram and you can show to others that this is our plan and we can work on this workflow so you can use also block diagram for workflow for example you have to make one by one step by step something so you can explain in this manner so i hope you understand the block diagram so we'll go on the next slide 
so the next slide is we will discuss here single line diagrams which is normally in short term we say sld or one line diagram so what is the what is the definition the representation of an electrical circuit using a single line as the name suggests a single line is used to denote the multiple power lines such as in three phase system so in single line diagram i will show you a picture here if you see in this picture on the first it's showing generating station it's showing generating station okay if you can understand like only this one symbol only this one symbol it's showing the whole generating station so this is single line diagram now you will see here again after that this power this generating station it's showing this single line this single line which is connected with the power transmission with the power transmission it is a step up transformer okay so they make this single line 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 diagram they make this symbol only to show the primary transmission system so whatever how many is there it is not mentioned but this is just for understanding single line diagram the project what will be how it will be connected equipment by equipment so after that if you will see here again we are using this line to converting to step down transformer now it's connected here again with the step down transformer which is here okay friend and after that this line again this line again starting from here it is connected it is connected receiving station it is separate part this is not the part of transformer from output of the stand, uh, step down transformer if you will see here this is stepping down 132 kv line to 11 kv step down and this step down power will receiving here in the receiving station as you see here as you see here this this is the receiving station this part it's showing only the receiving station so very simply you can explain if you are the engineer or any technician or you are explaining to someone you can make also single line diagram with symbols if you are explaining to any other engineer not a common person okay so you can make single line diagrams okay friends so this is all for the single line diagram as you see here after that it's more terminating in the next step to the secondary transmission then we have again one more transformer this is also stepping down from 30 3 kv to 11 kv and one more substation is here and after that we have distribution transformer here from 11 kv to 415 kv okay and after that this single line this single line is showing the transmission between customer and the distribution transformer this line this single line we are not showing the whole network so with the sing with the help of single line diagrams you can show on single page on a single diagram the whole system if you see the in the real about one transmission system it show you very big drawings and you have to explain but with the help of single line diagram you can explain to anyone very easily so always ask if you are estimation engineer you you know about the single line diagrams very well so before starting the project you have single line diagram what is the project specification and other things so you can plan accordingly so we will go to next slide this is another example of the single line or one line diagram as you see here if i will show you here this is this one single box it's showing the grid whole grid okay and after that this is circuit breaker and this is the common bus this is the bus this is 22 kv bus it's showing here if you will see and step by step you will find here we have one mva distribution transformer and after that we have a output breaker and we have again 450 415 volt bus here the low voltage bus okay and after the low voltage so now we will go to next slide and we will show you about the schematic diagrams what is schematic diagrams the diagram that uses line to represents the wires and symbols to represent components it is used to show how the circuit functions 
so in schematic we are discussing about the details in before we are discussing about block diagrams and the single line diagrams but schematics are the actual with the symbols with wire to wire how it will be connected exactly in the circuit for example if we have star delta panel in our operation in our function so we are using that time the wiring diagram or the schematic diagrams both are same the if you will say wiring diagram or schematic diagram both are using in same term so as you see here in this circuit i will show you what is the difference in schematic if you will see here we are not showing here any transformer or something we are showing each thing separately we are showing here three fuses then after we have three lines okay if you will compare if you will compare this again with the previous slide i will show you if you will see here here we are showing only with the symbols of single we are not showing as you see here this is only single line this is also a cable of four core or three core okay but we are not showing here because this is single line diagram but when we are talking about schematic diagrams we are detail we are di discussing about detail of the panel or whatever is the device or equipment we are detailing so let's see here this circuit a schematic diagrams or wiring diagrams which will show you each and every components with the simple and how it is connected in the circuit so i hope you understand these drawings and we will discuss further about more about the drawings okay now i will start the third chapter with the ats panel drawing so you will understand how to read the drawing of the ats so first you have to know about the drawings the basics of the drawing so i hope this video will help you to understand the types of the drawing and these are the very important question which will normally the interviewer will ask you so it's very good learning for the beginners so i hope you understand uh, you like this video so please subscribe the channel and we will see you in the next video have a nice day and bye bye assalam alaikum